Niggas flashing, I'm spazzing. I stay high as a treble. And those who oppose get plucked like rose petals. I'm stringing things together like a... All right, what is up, everybody? It's Aspire Films here, and I'm back with another tutorial in Sony Vegas. This time, I'm going to show you guys how to do this pretty easy um, kaleidoscope effect. It's like a good trippy effect if you want to use it for your music videos and stuff, like your trippy music videos. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. For this tutorial, you're going to need um, the Sapphire plugins. And um, I know I use a lot of plugins for my tutorials, but this is a pretty popular plugin, so I'm pretty sure most of you have it if you use Sony Vegas regularly. But um, if you don't, I have a link to a video on how to get it. But um, so anyway, let's get started. So uh, there's two kaleidoscope like plugins, I guess, for this. Um, for this, there's just S underscore Kaleido and there's S underscore Kaleido Polar. And for this tutorial, we're gonna use Kaleido Polar. I mean, like the diff they're not there's not a big difference between the two, but like it is kind of different. So like I'm gonna just I'm gonna just show how to do the Polar one for this tutorial. But if you like, if you learn how to do it here, like you can still just apply it to this one and it should work the same. It just looks a little bit different. So um, yeah, so the first thing you want to do is you just want to drag on the effect. And the reason I drag the effect onto the layer and not just the clip is because for some reason my Sapphire plugins, when I add it to the clip, like when I render the video, the clip just like glitches out. I think it like just appears all black or like it just makes it look weird for like that just happens to me. So like to fix that, I just add the clip to the uh, add the effect to the entire layer. But um, so if yeah, if it happens to you, you should just do that too. But um, if it doesn't, just you can just add it, drag it to the clip like you do any other effect okay so yeah let's get started with this so i'm gonna just show you like what things do here so like the z dist is like kind of like just zooms in and out basically it's like if you want to like all the way out here it's like if this looks good for your effect then you can like just do that like it's up to you it really just depends on like what effect you're going for like i've like i would use this but i didn't use it for this like for this video but like i would use it for other videos because it still looks nice but um yeah so like it depends so you want to go all the way out here but for um like for the preview I showed in the beginning I had this set to 0 0.571 which is like a little bit zoomed in but not too much and then um so for the other settings I have here like they're just, like you can mess around with all this to get it to your liking but I'm going to just show you guys how to do it in the video I have in the beginning so um you want to set the stretch for that you want to set the x to 0 0.9933 and you want to set the Y to 0 0.733. And then you want to affect this inside shift here too. I think I have this set all the way up to 1. Yeah, I just put it all the way up to 1. And then I'm also going to change this angle repeats settings right here. I have that set to, I believe, I'm trying to think what I had in the original. Oh yeah, 3.97. Okay, so um, so this is how I this the setting that I had for it, but like as you saw in the in the preview I had in the beginning, the video was like rotating with it, like it was like spinning with it, which just add like a cooler look to it instead of just it sitting here bland. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. You wanna just go to the beginning of the video, and you wanna go to the rotation right here, and you wanna just hit this little clock by the rotation so you can animate it. So like, I'll scroll down and see like there's a keyframe right here. I'll just click add a keyframe. So I like, got a keyframe right here, and then it doesn't, it doesn't really matter where you start it off at, but I like to just go, like when I do my animations, I like to go all the way to like something negative, start it off back here, and then I just go all the way to the end, the last keyframe, and I set it back to positive. And um, all this really depends on like how fast you want your, like how fast you want your video to spin like this is like a relatively kind of slow spin but like if I were to go um, to the last keyframe and set this to like 85 or something something like super high it would spin like a lot faster so like it really just depends on what you're going for so I'm gonna set it back to what I had it at and I'm gonna show you, show you guys what that looks like I had it like I'm gonna set it to like 15 that should be good it's not yeah it's not too slow not too fast so I'm just gonna pre-render this real quick so you guys can get a look at it was breathtaking looking down at my boo one not enough i need two i live a life that i choose whatever the price you know i'm pop and show rocking like a small canoe Every okay so i'm gonna show you guys what that looks like i couldn't pre-render the whole thing because like it's a little high quality and my computer doesn't have that much you know speed like that so this is as far as i can get to but i'll show you guys what that looks like right now I stay high as so you can see that looks pretty clean like you know it's spinning pretty well it goes with the video and stuff like you can see um the kaleidoscope just like you know it looks, you know, just looks pretty nice. It's a good trippy effect you can add to your videos. 
So that's um basically it for this tutorial. If you guys have any other tutorials you want me to do, just um let me know in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys can learn something, and I'll see you next time.